Welcome to episode seven of Career Pro Tips by Life in the Green Room. Life in the Green Room is all about helping busy professionals who want more out of their career. We provide tool-based, action-oriented plans that allow you to navigate your career in the direction that you want to go. My name is Heather Green Micklin and I'm the Vice President of Marketing at a Fortune 500 company. I've used these tools, I've seen my colleagues and the people who are on my team use these cool tools, and I know that they will work for you. And I'm so excited to show you implementable action items that you can take. So today, for episode seven, we're gonna talk about how do you get the most out of your training? So the background on this tip is I have seen too many times people are asked to go to a training or invited to go to a training, and they have this kind of like, oh, it's gonna be such a waste, I'm gonna be out of the office for three days, I'm gonna get so far behind on my emails, I, sh I wish I didn't even have to go. And I hate when I hear that because there is value in training, there's so much you can do. You have to take a little bit of a proactive approach to get the most out of your training, but it, if you consider it a blow off, it's going to be a blow off. There's just, there's no two ways about that. So. You have to go into it saying, I'm gonna learn something valuable that's gonna make me a better employee or more productive or allow me to be more strategic. And then you're gonna have the opportunity to really grow and learn in this session. So in order to do that, how do I get the most out of my training? I have really structured the tips in a way to say, okay, a few things to do before the training, what do you do during the training, and what do you do after the training? So what do you do before the training? In this case, the preparation, I mean, if there's pre-work, obviously you have to do that, but the preparation is really simple. I would get a copy of the agenda as soon as you can and study it so you know the topics that you're gonna learn and you can start to think about how those topics impact your day-to-day -day life and what you could do to implement them. The second thing I would want you to do is have a quick meeting with your boss. Could be 15 minutes to say, hey, this is what I've seen in the agenda. This is what I think is interesting. What do you think I should be learning out of it? Is there a specific reason that I was asked to go to this training? Just get really clear with your boss about that. That's it. Then when you go to the training, during the training, your second step, I want you to focus. I want you to pay attention as much as possible. Do not be doing emails. Do not be jumping on webinars and taking phone calls. I get that there's an exception, but if you really are gonna to try to get the most out of your training, you do have to pay attention and try to absorb that material. So while you're there, try to focus. And what I like to encourage people to do is say, you know, in each chunk of time, each afternoon and morning, or however your training is structured, try to pick out one topic in particular that you are like, I am going to understand this so well that I can go back and teach my colleagues. When you have that going on in your mind, you pay attention at a totally different level. When you have to explain or teach someone else, you can't just cursory understand it. You feel like you really have to know it. And so if you give yourself that challenge, I bet that you pay attention even harder and you ask questions to make sure that you could go back and convey it. So during the training, your overall goal is to try to absorb and focus as much as you can. Now, the third part of getting the most out of your training is when you get back to work and that's all about implementation. That's when the freaking work starts. I'm sorry to tell you, but if you go back from training and you toss your book in the side and you never look at it again, you were not getting the most out of your training. I always challenge everyone on my team who attends a training to tell me the one to three things that they're gonna implement in their job that they learn from the training. That's it. You probably learn 25 things. It is very unlikely you can actually absorb all of those into your work life because it would change everything and that kind of change is usually tough, but people can take one to three tools and make some improvements. So I ask them to identify those for me and then tell me the plan that they would like to make. So that's my challenge for you. What are you gonna implement? Is it something for you specifically? Is it a little process you wanna roll out to your team? Is it something bigger? Get those identified have another quick meeting with your boss, 15 minutes. This is not a big deal and say, look, these were the things I think are gonna be the most impactful for me to implement. Here's how I'd like to implement them and go about, go about it. If it's all productivity things for you, fine, do it, done. You don't even have to have that discussion. But if you're trying to influence other people, you, it, you know, should let some other people know and then say, I'm gonna roll it out in this manner. After the implementation part, I would challenge you to schedule a meeting with just yourself on your calendar in four weeks or six weeks to check in and see how you're doing. You might come back so excited about the training and then 
life sets in and you get all your emails and all of a sudden you stop working on it. Give yourself a check-in early, like schedule it early so you can say, look, did I implement these tasks? And if not, if I fell off the rails, can I get back on? Can I still try? It is powerful for you to change your work habits, but it's hard because they're habits. And so you really have to put a little bit of effort into making sure you have an accountability system that you've implemented the changes. One to three things may not sound like a lot, but if you do that every single time that you take a training, over the course of five years, if you go to a training each year, you can really drastically make some big improvements on your on your productivity or your efficiency, your strategic thinking, your ability to tackle a new skill. All of those are gonna be very powerful and help drive bottom line results. So those are my tips on how to get the most out of your training. Please don't see it as a burden. See it as an opportunity to learn and grow. And to do that, think about what you'd like to do ahead of time, focus during the training, and get to work when you're back in the office because that's when the implementation and the hard work starts. I would love to hear from you how you have gotten the most out of your training and what tips you have. If you have any other topics or questions you'd like us to tackle, leave us a comment. And please subscribe if you love getting a weekly career pro tip. Until next episode, here's to owning your career journey.